Okay, let's get lined up. This is a video on um, this I'm going to use in my boat, and it's uh, it's for the lights and everything else. Um, you've also got a cigarette lighter there, and you've got USBs there. Five volt one amp and five volt two point one amps, and a voltmeter as well, of course. I want to show you how I've wired it up because it comes with instructions which are not brilliant, and also because you're wiring up to a boat, the boat is fiberglass, so you don't have a negative, um, so there's no metal. So everything, all your negative wires, have to go back to the battery, which I'll show you how I do that. So this has been crudely wired up temporarily and I'm using just push connectors so I'll just pull that apart and you'll see what I mean so everything goes off right I can show you the back now so it comes pre-wired like this except for these four wires and what you have here is the red one is for the switch the main switch on it and what happens if you do if you just connected the red and I believe the black yep those two up so you went straight to the negative and positive on the battery. What would happen on the front here, you would only get these lights lighting up when the switch is on the on position. Okay, when you saw before a little tiny light down below here, these are the secondary wires, which is the yellow and the blue. And the blue goes to positive, as you can see, and the yellow goes to negative. Then what that does then, that gives the small lights a feed as well, which I will show you now. Two seconds, which you'll see, which you've just seen. So there we go. So, and when these are switched on, you'll see that the lights become full. Okay. So these are just like sort of emergency, here I am lights, you can see me. They don't actually, these little lights don't actually do anything, they just sit there showing you where the switch panel is. So if you want one of the main lights to work, on the back of the panel, I can show you there if you can see that, you've only got one connector left, which is your switch connector, which is the live, or you can go negative if you want to, but it's live. I can demonstrate that with this. This is going on my boat. What I've done, I put a spade in, this will be lengthened wherever I want it on the boat so I'm just doing you it like a crude video of course so put a spade end on connect it to the first one second one third one whatever you want to connect it to whatever you want to call it and I gotta admit they are funny let me just show you that okay so LED bar light spotlight side lights roof lights which is what zomb what's a zombie light I've been told it's the lights that go underneath the vehicle. That would be nice on a boat. If you put some lights around the edge of the boat or at the bottom, that would be quite cool. And then driving lights. Anyway, back to what we're doing now. So I've connected it to driving lights. The live. Okay? So what you do then, all negatives have to be fed back to the battery. Like I said, crudely. So I'm just going to touch on there like that. And this is your light. Okay, and then we'll, and we'll you can see, you'll see the light come on, it's pretty bright. So then we'll put the driving lights on, okay? Bingo. There you go. So all, anything you connect to the switches will just be live, to the live part of the switch, and then you must connect all, see that, negatives back to the battery. And then you'll find then the switch will work perfectly well. Okay, on, off, you can see that. And I'll just show you in another one, pick another switch, live, you can see that, so I just switched, switched him over to LED light bar, so I'll put him on there, put him back on, take the negative to the negative on the battery, so my little hand doesn't get in the way, sorry about that, so there we go, and then exactly the same thing. So then you see your main light comes on knowing that your light outside is on. Okay, 27 quid. So what I'll do now, I will test the USB. So give me a second. Just unplug that. Move to the other side. Okay, so to test the USB, I'm going to have to plug it into the phone that I'm filming on at the moment. So you'll probably hear it go... 
So if I pull that out, it's lit. I'll plug it into both to test, and then I'll plug it into the phone. So just bear with me. Hopefully I don't knock the phone off. And yeah, you can't see it, but I can. Um, a little blue rainbow has just appeared at the bottom of my phone. So my now my phone is now charging. Let me just try the top one. Same again. Yeah, so she's charging. So this is live now and active. Yeah, brilliant. I don't know if I can test the um, 12 volt one. I did have something somewhere. Just hold on a minute. Okay, so here we have a, a little cigarette lighter. So this light has got a light on it, so hopefully the light will switch. Sorry for my hands in the way. And there we go. Active. 27 quid. And a voltmeter, of course. 12.6 volts at the moment. So, so there you go. What a nice bit of kit. So very easy to wire up. Like I said, all the switches have a live on them, which so you'll connect any device you want to to that side of the switch, any lights anywhere on the boat, and all the, all the negative wires must come back to the battery. So whether you want to make a terminal block, which you can buy, and then connect to the battery, so each one can be spayed in into it, and then I'm going to put mine in conduit anyway, so I'll probably do a video on that. But uh, And it looks pretty. Let me just turn the light if you can see that. That's cool, isn't it? Sorry, sorry, sorry. So we have cigarette lighter plugged in, USB plugs in, my phone is charging, 12.5 volts, all the lights are on. Turn the lights off. 12.5, I'm taking the, disconnect that. There you go, disconnect the USB from charging, and the voltage goes back up to 12.6. It was 12.7, so. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's a bit enlightening for you. And, uh, how to wire it up. Take care and see you in the next vid. Ta-da for now.